Alrighty. Let the adventure begin. Two idiots gonna freeze to death in the in the woods. <laughs> Got everything? Yeah, you said uh, we don't think I need the uh, rain cover. Right? Nah, it'll be fine. Get a low view of the Pennsylvania rocks. Does it have a control pad, a control pad, or something? You can the it kind of has a mind of its own. Like, angle. if I want to do a selfie, sometimes it wants to, sometimes it doesn't. Like, if I turn it around, it's like it goes a little bit. And you have to kind of convince it to point at you. It's it's got some intelligence, but I don't know how it works. See, like, eh, sometimes it wants to go forward and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> it's got a personality. Yeah. yeah. Where? Right here. Yeah, yeah. So there's a platform, see? And there's one here. There's another campsite wow. down a little further too. So, uh, so here's a big fire ring platform for a tent site. Uh, trail goes up that way a little bit. There's you can see the river up that way. Another tent site here. There's another tent site down there. Yeah. This one down here is a little bit more private. I don't really see much in the way of hammock sites though. Oh yeah, I could put hammock right here. These trees, right? Right here, right here, these two. Okay. So this is a this is an option, right? We could keep this as a as a maybe. Huh? Uh, yeah, so the platforms are probably nicer. So this is not the only, these are not the only choices. There's, on the other side somewhere, there's something too. I remember from last time. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Got a little lake down there. You have to go down to get some water. Oh man. But you, don't, you really don't have to go down there because if you want water, there's an easier place to get it up there. Yeah. It's a little cold and windy, it's about 40 degrees. So. Main campsites that you're talking about? Huh? Are these uh, sites? Whoa! Where? This was not like this when I was here last time. This must be because it's spring yeah. uh, spring runoff from snow melt, right? Yeah. This was, there's not this much water here when I was I here before. Water yeah. I think there's, I think there's people over here.
はいいらっしゃいませ。All right, so we finally made camp. Now we had some lunch. We got all set up, and now we're getting ready to make a fire. So I'll show you where the campsite is. It's it's up here. Alrighty, now we have the the big Agnes. What is it called? The big Agnes. Tiger wall. Three, three person tent, right? Yeah. yeah. It's got tiger wall. It looks like a two person tent because it's pretty small than I thought. I don't know how much you can really see inside of it though, but and then I'm over here with my. Hammock set up. And let's go inside. So, it's pretty basic. And I just have my clothes here, my underquilt. I just have the 20 degree tonight. And uh, it's gonna be pretty cold. It's gonna be somewhere in the 20s. So. I might die, I'm not sure. Hopefully not. But I brought some extra layers to wear, so... We'll see how this goes. Alright, and now we're gonna... Start cutting some firewood. Try to make a fire, hang out. Huh? Hey, Eric's already done some work. Oh, we got... Got some kindling here. We got a couple of cut logs already. So it's time for me to get to work now. We have cotton balls wrapped in wax paper, soaked in petroleum jelly. Best fire starter in the world. <laughs> All you gotta do is uh, Fluff it out a little bit, just so it can catch the catch the spark. Really, it's the paper that catches the, catches the spark. It gives you like a nice big target, so you don't have to like try to shoot it right into the cotton ball. And then, really, you should get some uh, small kindling ready, some small stuff ready. There we go. And then as soon as that starts, start throwing on some small stuff. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. There we go.
All right, so it's about quarter to eight. It's about 32 degrees right now. And we got a rip roaring fire going here. And we got some, uh, believe it or not, in these containers right here, we got some mountain house meals cooking. Just using the good old campfire. Rotate it a little bit so it cooks on all sides. I got a lasagna with meat sauce. Not sure what he has. Ooh, is that hot? So, we still got tons of firewood, and it's toasty by the fire, man. It feels good over here. So, I don't know what that was, but I didn't get it on camera. But it sounded like it sounded like a pack of coyotes or something. It was weird. I never heard that before. Well, I don't know. If I hear it again, I'm going to try and keep the camera handy. It had to be coyotes. Cool. The fire is still going. Still got tons of wood. Yeah, there's still a lot of heat coming off of this, even though the fire looks like it's very low. Yeah. There's a really hot bed of coals going on right yeah. there. And it's about 28 degrees right now. It's about 9.30, a little after. Is and it, is it 9.30? Yeah. And it's getting time for bed pretty soon. Yeah, it is. It is. Time for the real equipment test. <laughs> we'll find out for real if our equipment keeps us alive overnight. Right. If you wake up dead, you'll know it didn't. <laughs> so that, that fine. All right, it's about 11 o'clock. It's about 28 degrees and it's time for bed. But probably I'm gonna watch some TV first. Maybe I'm too excited, but I just don't feel like going to sleep. All right, well, it's the next day, obviously, and we all survived the night. Um, we're just packing up now. There's my stuff over there somewhere. And uh, it got down to, it got down to 22 degrees last night. It was pretty chilly. So, and we're kind of up on a hill a little bit, so it's a little breezy, and there's another campsite down here a little bit further down, but we're still kind of up pretty high, but we didn't want to stay here last night.
Uh, just checking out some of the other campsites in the area. Uh, yeah, we didn't want to stay at this one last night because there was a couple other guys staying across the, the way there. And uh, just for just for privacy's sake, we didn't want to stay here. Although, this would be a pretty nice place. Nice flat ground for a tent. Oh man. This would have been pretty awesome. Kind of rocky though, but uh, I guess you could clear out some of the rocks or maybe spread some leaves around. Nice big fire ring over here. Nice place to sit. You got your water stream down there. Not bad. You can see way off in the distance there's a way off in the distance there there's an AT blaze. The AT goes over there. As far as I can tell there's no trail coming to this side. You just kind of have to climb and hop across the stream and get here. But there's uh, at least three nice campsites on this side. I have a hammock. He's got a tent, so there's something for everybody, I feel like. We've got a nice little stream down here. We tilt down. Let's see if I can get down here without sliding. So, it's uh, time to get on the trail, and uh, time to get back to civilization and have a beer and a burger. That's, that's always the best way to end a hike. It's about 40 degrees right now, nice and sunny, still a little chilly. So, all right, let's get back on the trail.